Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Margos from Margos Budget. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to budget for beginners. So how to budget your paycheck. Um, we're gonna break it down, um, talking about our income, our expenses, um, some savings, and then paying off debt if you do have that debt to pay off. So let's get right into the video. And um, yeah, let me show you how to actually budget your paycheck. So, okay, so guys, why do we need to budget our money? One is, is basically to know where our money is going, right? Don't you not wanna know where your money is going? Um, secondly, it's um, it allows us to set financial goals. Also, it allows us to, if we're going over budget, then we can adjust and take action uh, with, with our, our money, right? So that is one of um, the three main reasons why we actually budget our money. So let's go into the budgeting categories. So the first thing you wanna look at is your income. So. So what is income? Income is the money that is coming in. So we're gonna call this the inflow. So it's coming into your household, into your life, right? So what are these income? These could be your paycheck. Let me put it here, paycheck. This could be some side hustle. How about um, some bonus that you do get from work? Uh, tips. Um, it could be your, um, if you do get an income tax return at the end of the year. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit more so you could see. Sorry, try to adjust the tripod here. That's better. So, let's see. It, so, um, how about your, as I said, your income tax. When you do your income tax, you get a return. So, this, these are your, your um, example of your incomes that you'll be receiving. Okay, so we want to make sure we consolidate all of our incomes, all of these stuff. Um, into billing uh, budget. The next one category that we want to look at is our expenses. And what are these expenses? And we're going to call this category outflow. Because these are categories that are going out, right? We're, we're, we're paying all our bills we're paying, we're, we're spending, um, on our expenses. And, um, so we're going to call these. So let me give you an example of some of the categories under expenses. So under expenses, you have your fixed expenses, right? And these are, these are, um, your bills that normally doesn't change. So that would include your, say your mortgage, your rent, right? Your car insurance, uh, your car loan, right? Um, it could be your subscriptions. Okay, so you get a you you have a, you get a feeling of what I'm talking about. Is these are the things that does not change normally, right? And then we have our um, our variable expenses. So these could be your um, your groceries. Uh, transportation. 
Uh, this could be your utilities. Um, eating out. Shopping. Okay. This, this is just a few examples of your very expenses. So you want to break your, your budget out in the income. Then you're going to have your fix and then your variable. Okay. So let's look at if you have some debt. Right? So your debt would be um, your basically your, your credit card. So your credit card. Um, your student loan. Uh, your line of credit. Other loans. Right? Those would be your, your debt. That, right? Also, your car loan would be under debt as well. So, sorry for the, the handwriting, but I just want to give you guys um, some examples. Okay? So, that would be your debt. Then, we're going to look at our savings. Because, guys, uh, as, as much as we want to pay off debt, we want to actually save some money for like your emergency fund, your um, your emergency fund, your, I would call them your rainy day funds, uh, your long-term service, so, so um, um, savings such as your retirement and, um, and you know, other savings that you want to do, right? So let's go through the savings, um, okay? So in the in the savings, um, you want to do um, some investment. So, but you most likely will not start off doing the investment right away. You might want to save for your emergency fund. Right? And normally the emergency fund would be like to have $1,000 where it's reachable. Then in case you have an emergency, you can um, you can able to withdraw that money and take care of the emergency. Then you want to have your, um, maybe some people usually have this in the high yield savings account or in cash or in their bank account, right? Uh, it's up to you where you want to um, put that money. So then other people, they, um, they do savings challenges. Right? Um, people love doing savings challenges because it just motivates them to actually save. Right? You could do mini ones. You could do large ones. You have the $30, $100, or you could do your 100 envelope it's up to you it depends on how much money you have to put into savings but i would say save a little bit at a time while paying off debt if you have debt right okay so um i know some companies do offer um a match um you know so check to figure out um if your company actually does a match um, in your pension or your 401k or your RSP and are in your, you know, other, um, other investment that they have. My company does a match. So I take the maximum of the match. So I don't even see that money. Um, it just goes right out of my paycheck into my investment and, and they match it. If I put a hundred dollars, they put a hundred dollars, so it's a hundred percent match. So I make sure that I, you know, <laughs> that's a good opportunity to make money, and so I make sure I do that with my own paycheck. So, also, um, so what if? Oh, and then there's a sinking funds. So sinking funds would be, so for instance, I'm going to show you my sinking funds here where I save for birthday, um, car maintenance, uh, Christmas, 
gas, extra gas, uh, gift, health, you know, housing, you know, your housing separate, uh, personal care, um, you know, beauty, vacation, uh, etc. So these are called your sinking funds. These are money that you're putting in and they're, you're basically, they're going out at the same time. So um, when there is those events that are um, unexpected that arise, right? Okay, so what if, um, so basically, what if at the end of the day, your income, right, that is not enough to pay your expenses, your debt, and your saving. What do you normally do in that case? Obviously, if your income is $1,000, your uh, minus your expenses, um, which is $900, uh, minus your debt, your minimum debt payment, which is a uh, $100 and then you want to put some money towards saving say for instance $200 whoops $200 right then if you take the 100 the 1000 minus 900 minus 100 that will leave you with zero so there's, there's no room to save your the money for your debt so what do you do in that case when you don't have enough money to even pay your bills, even to pay your debt? What do you do? You have to go out and make more money. Yes, you have to make more income, right? How do we do that? You could do YouTube. You could do open up an Etsy shop. If you're good at something, at making something, you open up an Etsy shop. You can open up a, sh a Shopify store. Um, you could do some side hustling, um, such as DoorDash, like um, Uber Eats, um, Rideshare. Uh, you know, you could do all these different things, right, to make more money. Walk somebody's dog to make money. I, I've seen a lady on YouTube that is walking um, people dog to make money. So... Do whatever you can to make more money, right? If not, if you don't make more money, then you might have to cut some of these expenses here, your variables. You're going to have to scale back on these variable expenses because you have to pay your debt, right? Because if you don't pay your debt, this will actually mess up your credit score, right? And so you might want to have to scale back. And um, it, it's up to you how you want to um, manage your own financial journey and it, right so you're gonna have to do that guys um let me see if i'm missing anything here so yeah so um again this is how i would uh budget my paycheck um this is the simplest way to budget your paycheck you could you don't have to get any fancy books or anything like that you could just basically take a notebook like this sorry a notebook like this you could get it at the dollar store and budget in a notebook right it doesn't have to be anything fancy just start budgeting know where your money is going know where um you know where you're overspending over above your means and um, so let me know in, in your comment if this is the way you set up your budget and um, if you have any other tips um, for those people who have been budgeting for a long time. And um, yeah, so thank you again for joining me on this video and have yourself a fantastic day. Let's budget, guy. Let's go. Thank you.